Understanding the different types of engine oils used in today's trucks, construction equipment, and agricultural equipment is as tough as the equipment these engine oils go in. Mystic Heavy Duty Product Line Manager, Mark Bettner, is here to help us understand the basics of engine oils and viscosities. So Mark, where do we start? First, we need to understand how engine oil is made. It starts with the right balance of base oils and additives. Base oil performance is typically divided into two categories, mineral or synthetic, or a combination of the two called synthetic blend. Additive performance is defined by the quality of the additive and how much goes into the product. Selecting the right combination of base oil and additive is the ultimate challenge. What do I need to know about base oil? First, base oil is the primary carrier for the engine oil, accounting for 80 to 90 percent of the formula. Base oil is very important in determining a viscosity, which ultimately drives high and low temperature properties, oil consumption, and oxidation properties. Mark, what benefits do I get when I go from a mineral to synthetic blend to a full synthetic base oil? As you move up the ladder from mineral to synthetic, you get better cold temperature and high temperature protection. This means the engine oil will flow faster at startup, reducing wear, and provide better oil breakdown protection at high temperatures. Better flow at startup helps increase fuel economy, and better high temperature protection helps extend oil and ultimately engine life. That seems pretty straightforward. As you move from mineral to synthetic base oil, you get better protection at extreme temperatures, so a little extra insurance for severe conditions. What does the additive do? Additives need to work synergistically with base oil to provide desired performance and include things like antioxidant, anti-wear, detergents, dispersants, foam inhibitor, pore point depressant, rust and corrosion inhibitors, and viscosity modifiers. Wow, that seems like a lot to do. It is, but let me try and simplify it. Additives help prevent oil foaming and breakdown, rust, corrosion, and engine wear. They also clean and capture contaminants and help manage oil flow at different temperatures. Finding the right balance is the difference between making a good product and a great product. Well, that makes it easier to understand. So what should I look for when selecting an engine oil? First, it's important that you have the correct viscosity. Viscosity is one of the most important properties of an engine oil because it determines how the oil flows over a wide temperature range. There are single grades such as SA40, and then there are multi-grade viscosity oils which are most common today. What is a multi-grade viscosity oil? Multi-grade viscosities contain polymers that help them fulfill two viscosity specifications. 10W40 is an example of a multigrade viscosity oil since it is designed to flow more easily at startup when the engine is cold. The 10W means that the oil flows like a lighter oil at startup, and the W actually stands for winter. Once the engine is up to operating temperature, a 10W40 oil flows like a heavier SAE40 oil. So, what is a low viscosity multigrade engine oil, and when would it be best to use? Low viscosity engine oils include oils 10W and under such as 10W30, 5W30, and 5W40. They improve startup lubrication, cold engine cranking, and can help improve fuel economy. They also create less stress on batteries and starters and can help reduce the dependency on engine block heaters. On the other side, we have high viscosity multigrade engine oils, so when would it be best to use? High viscosity engine oils include oils 15W and over such as 15W40 and 15W50. In older engines, these oils can sometimes provide better protection at higher operating temperatures and improve oil life. As engines age, wear is inevitable and some owners find that 15W50 provides improved oil control. In cases where the engine seals have aged, a higher viscosity oil could reduce leakage. However, in recent years, the engine manufacturers prefer the use of lower viscosity multigrade oils in newer engines. So it seems like there are a lot of things to keep in mind when selecting the right oil. What would you consider the top things to keep in mind? First, check your owner's manual for the recommended engine oil. Then consider how long you usually keep equipment how severe your operating conditions are, and what kind of temperatures you operate in. The more severe the operating conditions and temperature extremes, the higher the likelihood you will need to use a synthetic blend or full synthetic. It's also important to buy a premium product from a brand you trust like Mystic JTH Synthetic Blend or Full Synthetic Engine Oil, engineered with the right blend of base oil with a premium additive system to deliver performance, protection, and longer engine life you deserve. Mark, thanks for giving us a rundown on the different types of engine oils and how to select the right engine oil for your equipment. 